Welcome to our virtual ocean adventure. This is the first in our series of video lessons where we'll take a deep dive into the ocean to explore life below the waves. You can download the accompanying resource pack in the link below this video. Let's get started and we're beginning at the beach. Let's explore rock pools. Rock pools are small pools of salt water between the rocks on the coastline. A rock pool is a microhabitat. This is a small area where some wildlife can live. Let's explore. Wildlife inside rock pools has to be hardy because of the changing conditions. Some creatures stay in the rock pool all the time. Others leave with the tide. Let's find out more about some of those creatures. Shore crabs are the most common crab found in rock pools. They're usually greenish colour but can be orange or red. Hermit crabs are commonly found at the bottom of a rock pool. Hermit crabs have a soft body and protect themselves by coiling up inside a shell. A shore crab has a hard shell and is a type of animal called a crustacean. Can you think of any other examples of crustaceans? A crab has large claws which it uses to catch prey or to fight other crabs. Crabs are famous for walking sideways. They have to walk like this due to the way their joints in their legs work. Although a hermit crab has the word crab in its name, it's not a true crab. Hermit crabs are soft shelled and make their home in the cast off shells of other creatures. They have even been discovered trying to live inside plastic rubbish. This often proves fatal and is a major cause of concern for conservationists. Here's another rock pool creature, the starfish. Let's find out more. Starfish have no blood, heart or brain. They feed on mollusks, mussels, coral and plankton. The underside of their arms are covered in suckers, which helps them to move about and to grip tightly onto the rocks to keep them safe. Back to exploring the rock pool. Here's a question for you. What's this? Do you have any idea? The beadlet sea anemone is one of the most common in Britain. Let's find out more. You can find sea anemones sticking to the rocks in rock pools. Sea anemones can sting. They do this with their tentacles that grow around their mouth and are used to catch prey. They can close their mouths to keep water inside if the rock pool dries up. Until underwater, they look like a red blob. It can survive out of water like this, a vital skill to have when you live in a tidal zone or rock pool. Once the tide comes in, their thick, short tentacles become visible. They use these tentacles to sting and catch passing prey like crabs, shrimp and small fish. Let's test our knowledge. It's time for the big rock pool quiz. Which of these is a brown shrimp? It's this one. True or false, starfish can change colour to match their environment. It's true. This helps them hide from predators. Which of these are limpets? It's this one. True or false, barnacles have been on Earth for over 500 million years. It's true. They can be found in rock pools, but are also often on boats, piers, and even on other animals such as whales and turtles. Which of these is a sea urchin? This one's the sea urchin. True or false, sea anemones can swim and have been known to travel hundreds of miles. It's false. They spend their lives attached to objects underwater. What a great start to our virtual ocean adventure. What's next? Well, we're heading further out to sea. I wonder what we'll discover. This was the first video in our series. There are seven more to enjoy, each one exploring a different aspect of ocean life. And don't forget to download your virtual ocean adventure resource pack to work through the activities alongside this video. There's a link to the resource pack below this video. The Virtual Ocean Adventure was brought to you by the Twinkle Home Ed team.